I don't want to have a scrap with the boar, basically. Oh, I ain't found one yet. James, what if it's boar or something? It's going to charge at you. Kick it on the head. Find the camera hadn't recorded properly on three out of the four recordings. We'll be back next month to check up on the camera trap. Let's hope there are no faults with it. Better yet, let's hope no one nicks it. Is it? Yeah. Right, well, we've got it. Now, that's part one of was it still going to be here? Part two, is it going to have worked properly? So, what we're going to do right now, we're going to take this back to where we're staying, we're going to get set up for the night and hopefully get this all transferred over to um, correct footage files so we can have a look through and hopefully we've got some decent stuff. Right then, carrying on from where we left off last time, we headed back down to the forest once again. This time on our trip, we planned in Cornwall and a cheeky little day out to Dartmoor as well as some other things. Now though, what had the camera trap picked up? I've got some good news, it actually worked this time. And some even better news, we managed to capture some boar. Not only that, but what looks to be quite a big boar family. We captured those a few times and as you can imagine, we caught some deer too. A lot of deer really. I'm sick of them now, but they're still pretty cute. Also, in this area in which we thought to be quite secluded from the public, well, the public was there. Quite a few photographers were in the area, I assume, looking to snap some boar pictures. And as far as wildlife is concerned, the only animals we managed to capture through the trap was what we've already seen, deer and boar. No carnivores, unfortunately, but that's still pretty exciting. And it's not the big cat we're after, although look at the potential food source something like that could have. Once reviewing this footage, we decided to not put the trap back in the same place as a few people had actually noticed the camera. Thank you to those people who noticed it and just gave a wave and left it alone. Also, if this is you, tweet me and definitely don't tell my girlfriend. <clears throat> anyway, a new day is upon us. As it's my birthday, I thought I'd do the special honors and get myself a uh, Don't Be A Craig t-shirt. Out now. <laughs> Okay, technically they're not out now, but if there is interest, then I will put them on a market if you fancy that. Right now though, we're in the Forest of Dean. We're actually trying to check out somewhere which has been recommended to us in one of my past videos about uh, trying to find some cave. There's like a cave system and uh, apparently loads of carcasses around in this area. So we're having a little look about. We've just seen off in this direction, just seen a deer just off there about what, 20, 30 meters away. Um, as soon as it saw us and I saw it, he legged it. He went, mate, he was off. But we're going to head down this track and then push off into the forest to see if we can potentially find something. But yeah, let me know in the comment section, do you fancy one of these? So on our way through the, uh, the forested area behind you, um, we've managed to come and hit a fence and it goes literally all the way down there and back this way as well all the way this way so we're trying to find our way through if we can because uh where we're located on the map we've got to be in there uh, that looks pretty interesting but can't quite get there in a minute we weren't going to get in there either it was a strictly no access area and me being a good boy avoided it we carried on exploring the area though spotting deer as we went then we got to something quite interesting Alright, so as we were just laying the trap up down, just a little bit down there where we thought was a really good area, Kate walked up here behind the camera, well done Kate, walked up here and she was like, <gasps> James! And we found a cave. And so with the excitement of the cave, we've decided to put the trap just here looking straight in and uh, hopefully this might bring us up something pretty cool. Now I feel like animals are going to use this to either like get out of the way of rain like we've just done or just for some comfort from some shelter and I don't know like that's exciting isn't it? That's something that is pretty cool. I reckon if big cats are in Britain, Summit is going to be in one of them. Do not fancy that, lads. 
From here then, we drove down to Cornwall for a little break of sorts and to think about what to do next. We went to some nice places, did some cool things and whatnot. Then, we were recharged and decided, you know what? We've got an idea. As the trap is in the Forest of Dean looking at a cave, we've decided to come down to Cornwall, spend a little bit of time here. But right now, we found ourselves in Dartmoor, which is obviously home to a lot of big cat sightings. So we're going off now to Dartmoor Zoo where we're going to look at some of their big cats. They've got some jaguars there, got some African lions and they've got some Carpathian lynxes. Now one of those managed to escape a few years ago and I want to find out the story of what happened there and how did they recapture him because he was away for three weeks. Dartmoor Zoo is a pretty cool place you know. That film, We Bought a Zoo with that fit bird in it. This one, yes, this one. It's based on this zoo. That's not the reason we visited though. We went there because back in 2016, they had a lynx escape. Big man Flavio did a run out and was on the loose for three weeks. Three whole weeks just having a great time out on the moors before he was recaptured and placed back in the zoo. I thought this was really cool and tried my best to get an interview with someone there who could tell us more. They rejected the interview unfortunately, but we did have a good chat off camera to a couple of the keepers. Generally, that zoo is a decent place. I kind of liked it. We didn't manage to get what we came here for, but we filmed a little piece of the lynx anyway. Anyway, the story is, basically, the day after the lynx arrived, he escaped again by chewing through a board. He was away for three weeks and had killed four lambs in that time. He was eventually captured by a trap which had veal in it. There were police helicopters and drones being used to find him. It was a pretty big deal and they did well to get him back. So you can see the sort of thing I'm up against here. A fat novice who can't really identify a track in the dirt who's practically doing this as a part-time hobby. I'm going to have to win the big cat lottery really, aren't I? It's like looking for a needle in a haystack if the haystack was the size of a football pitch. Anyway. Okay, this here is a Carpathian lynx. Now... When we're out looking in the forest of Dean, it's uh, it's quite a wooded area. These guys are going to be super, super camouflaged. And not only that, when they walk as well, they're pretty much silent. So if we hear a twig snap in the distance, chances are it's not going to be that fella. Now, I've said before, these guys... I think genuinely are going to be the only ones that are in this country along with maybe a puma. I'm really not getting on board with a black leopard and as we head up the back here we'll show you a jaguar as well. No chance of those being in this country but that little guy I reckon could be top line predator in this country. Alright so this is our final day. We've come back to the forest uh, to pick up the camera trap. We're really excited about this. We've had about a mile walk so far. Kate's not happy about that. But uh, we're just going to carry on. We're nearly there. Got to cut through all of this right now to get back to the cave. And hopefully the trap's still there. But we're really excited about this one. This has picked up about 30 recorded files in what? Three nights? So that is really exciting. That means something or some things come around this quite often. Can't wait now to take this home. Have a look through the footage. So we've got about a two hour drive to go. <laughs> get this up. Get it rocking and rolling. Have a look. And hopefully we've got some it really, really interesting. Okay, I think this is how easy it is to fake a big cat spotting. Look at that. <laughs> it's a branch, it's a little bush, but it looks like a big cat. How mad is that? Okay, this is really annoying. Right up here, um, in this little bit around here, we reckon we've just seen a baby boar. It, just, it, it literally just ran across like there, um, like a zigzag line. Um, like it was like stripey so it was proper young but obviously it didn't capture on camera so a bit annoying what not even this no i think it's the trainer i don't know you might be right to be fair there is a mark next to it i can't see a paw print i can only see trainer so i can see poor 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 and a pad We'll let the comment section decide. <laughs> what do you think that is? Is it a footprint or is it a paw print? I see a footprint there and a paw print there. Right, so we got home, converted all 30 files for us to watch, and we were astounded. Genuinely couldn't believe what we were seeing. We had captured the same squirrel 27 times. A squirrel. A bloody squirrel. Oh, my days. I tell you what, to say that I'm gutted 
is a complete understatement. Genuinely thought that time we were gonna get something on the camera trap that was gonna be pretty good. I sort of think that shows though like how hard this is. Like, you don't know if you're chasing ghosts. Like, you don't even know if they're real in this country. And the only sort of hope I've got is that recently in France, someone like who obviously owned a black leopard had managed it managed to escape and um <laughs> it, it was on like someone's windowsill and that's that's really the only thing that's giving me hope at the minute is sort of i don't know there's that and there just seems to be too many people saying they see stuff and it's just i don't know like for myself i want to believe it and i really want to be that guy that like finds something and it's absolutely mad and it sets like the whole of the country alight. Do you know what I mean? Just I wanna I wanna be that person that finds like a puma. I wanna be that person that finds a lynx or something. But I d there's a big part of me, it's like they're not out there. It's just they're not there. Now I posted this question on YouTube about this picture that I'd seen. It's from a few years ago. Um about this puma in a in a churchyard. Now I haven't been able to find anything about it, but there's a point there's a few people that have said like um it's fake. I haven't been able to find anything about it myself, but it does look really good. Um, so if it is a fake, it's a, it's a it's a really good one. It is a really good fake, but I don't know. I'll leave the picture here so you can have a look at it. So like, just looking at that picture, it looks it looks really good. It looks really convincing. I looked at that and thought, oh, that's all right, you know. Uh, and I've said this before, but like, I'm quite into the Photoshop stuff. So um, you could sort of pick out a, a fake quite easily. And I looked at that one. I was like, ah, do you know what? Like... If that is fake, that is a really, really good one. So I don't know. I'm going to need to do uh, a bit of digging on that one. But I'm just a bit, I think I'm a bit run down with this now. Like um, we've trapped, we've done certain things, um, nothing from it. Obviously, it's really cool and interesting seeing like boar, deer, not a squirrel, I hate squirrels, um, and other animals like badgers, foxes and whatever, just like trotting about on my camera trap. But I'm after the big one. And I said earlier on, it's like searching for a needle in a haystack if the haystack was the size of a football pitch. Now, I really appreciate you guys commenting and stuff. Um, there's been quite a few comments saying, why don't you put bait out? And uh, that is probably my next step. We're going to, I think we'll try and bait some places. Um, I really want to get some interviews done as well. Like, I did try and get an interview done down in um, Dartmoor. Uh, uh, like, it wasn't, it wasn't going to happen. Um, I walked in there and I said, oh, look, I really want to try and get an interview. I just want to hear a story about the, the big cat and whatever. And um, they they seem keen, but they had to they had to reject it. So it's really annoying. Um, so I'm going to try and get to talk to some people who are like in the know, um, who are like a, not specialists, but maybe like enthusiasts. Well, okay, maybe specialists on this subject, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. So I'm not completely done yet. I'm not going to like write this off because there's a part of me that's a believer, <laughs> and I want this to happen. But there's also a really big part of me that's quite a big skeptic. So. I don't know. If you do want one of these, just give me a shout. By the way, if this looked like it was a blanket when I was wearing it, I asked for an XL. They sent me a triple XL. Now, I don't know if they know who I am, <laughs> but I take great offence. <laughs> anyway, I'm waffling on now. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you've seen or heard anything. I've had someone comment about thermal imaging. Now, you need to get in touch. Tell me what you're on about because it sounded quite interesting. Anyway, uh, keep up the hunt. Don't be a Craig. See you next time.